Hey folks, welcome to Sand Hollow Homestead Channel in southwestern Idaho. So this video is about when opportunity knocks, you raise chickens and maybe some ducks. I mentioned to the family that we ought to have some chickens and the next I knew, my daughter, son-in-law, and the grandkids brought me these beautiful chickens, five of them. They were about half of what I thought I wanted to raise. And now the journey begins. You know, let's build a chicken barn in a coop. Yep, so we worked at it and we did. And now we're set. I can look at this. I even made a video on it. I was so proud. They got me five chickens. Got me a nice barn, a nice coop. Well, we're set. Now I can get down to working on my garden working on other things, the coops, look at that, it's all done. And the barn's good, I can sit back, relax, well, just look at the hillside, everything's good. Now we're set. Felt real good about that too. Oops, these aren't chickens, these are my, my bunnies. Yep, I do also raise New Zealand whites, been doing it since 2009. We used to be called Old Highway 30 Rabbitry, registered, pedigreed, and all that good stuff. Man, we had we had oh, lots and lots and lots, hundreds of rabbits. We had 200 rabbits. So now we're just down to three does and a bunch of bunnies. You know how that is. And these are meat rabbits, folks. I started the Idaho Meat Rabbit Growers Association. Haven't been doing much with that association for quite a while, but did help a lot of folks along the way, and I sure enjoyed it. Well, I got chickens, I got rabbits, and I'm pretty set. So my thought was, I've got five chickens, maybe a dozen eventually. Oh, here's a doe. She's expecting the 25th. But I thought, you know, I'm pretty good set up now. I got chickens, I got rabbits, yeah, here's one of the bucks, and he's a big one. Yep, we're all set, let's sit back, relax, except, yeah, uh, my neighbor down the road decided that I needed more, so we got another 16 more chickens. Yep, they called up and said, hey, you want to raise some chickens? We got some uh, some little chicks they hatched. So we put them in this crate outside. I had a light and all that. Started them in the tub and then put them in the crate. Right outside the front door. Beautiful chickens. You may know what they are. I'm not so sure. They are good looking. They sure eat and poop a lot. Man, you got to feed and water them at least twice a day or more. Those little dudes, uh, they keep busy, don't they? So now I'm set. I don't have to worry about it. Got all the chickens I want, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Except, uh, something else happened. Seven more chickens. Bob calls. Now this guy, he, he incubates chicken eggs as a hobby. Decided to raise some more and help me out. So here I am with seven more chickens. And these are buttes. Yep, they're real nice looking. And they're inside the house in a tub. And that sure is keeping us busy. Now I got the 16 outside plus the five. And now these seven, whew, I'm doing pretty good. Oh yeah, plus my rabbits. Now, Sand Hollow Homestead's got lots of little fritters. Oh, except, yeah, my neighbor calls and says, how about, how about getting some ducks? We got some ducks that hatched. Oh, uh, well, okay. We'll take them ducks. I don't know anything about ducks, right? I mean, uh, I've seen a few on the end of my barrel of my shotgun, but I've never raised them before. So here I am, five chicks, or five ducks, I mean. And, uh, okay, I got them. Now, I'm set, right? I got ducats, I got chickens, I got rabbits, 
I got more chickens and more chickens. Except that my neighbor calls. Yeah. My neighbor calls again and says, hey, we hatched a whole bunch more. 18 more chicks. How about it, Butch? You want some more chicks? Oh, uh, yeah. Opportunity knocks. 18 more chicks, folks. Here I am. Uh, get another tub, Brady Bar Bart. Thank God Bart had a bunch of tubs. So he gives me this tub. I fix it all up. Now we got 18 more. Now you count them. I got lots and lots of chickens. And I'm telling you, this little one here's got broken legs. We are raising it. Well, folks, when opportunity knocks and you open the door, run!